track. 17 after 10 o'clock, it is 17 degrees downtown, only a degree off my prediction with Barbara today. She's joined me, she's decided to see eye to eye with me, 18 degrees, we think we're going to get there and some. Going to be a nice day, it really is. Tuesday, June the 30th, last day of the month and well, really, really excited to have Merv Penny joining us out of Wellsford. Well, he comes from Kerry Terry, but he's on the road today at Wellsford, so let's do this first. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and for you folks that are joining us live on Facebook Live, thank you so much. Kiwi artist, really, really happy to have Merv Penny with us and I better turn his mic on. Good morning, Merv. Good morning, Grant. How are you doing? I, I'm doing absolutely well. It's good to catch up with you again, my friend. Got to say kia ora. Ah, kia ora, mate. It's always good to catch up with you. It's always a fun time for you, with you. Now, yeah, I feel sorry for you, actually. Uh, but you're in Wellsford right now. Uh, the last time I think we caught up uh, uh, while you were on the road, I think, was Oriwa. So uh, you've made it down a little bit further. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I'm always on the always on the move, so um, there's always something going on with me. So I've got to keep on trucking. So yeah, I appreciate you um, doing this one on the run. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I absolutely will do it for you any time, bro. You know that. Uh, unfortunately, you're heading to Fakatani, whereas I'm actually heading off the road to Rua. So uh, uh, and, and I'm going to be over there for a couple of days. So uh, close, close, but no cigar this time round. No, I would have loved to have called in and uh, caught up with you at the studio, but uh, I didn't really know I was coming until quite late, so um, uh, I had a, a lot of things going on, on at the time, so and I wasn't sure whether I could come, so uh, I would have loved to have called in to see you, but maybe it's, maybe next time. Next time, absolutely, <laughs> and you're always welcome here at Galaxy, you really, really are. Uh, at the same time, surreal times these days, especially with this COVID-19 thing, Got a bit of work yeah. done? Are, are you looking at recording new stuff? I have. I've actually been recording stuff and I've actually got a lot of stuff coming up. And this year it's going to be probably my biggest year for releases. Um, I think the last time I, the last release we did was Pink Elephants. And of course, that was very successful overseas. It went to number one in South Africa and I uh, got on the charts in Canada and the USA. So, um, you know, I feel like I need to keep the momentum going, so um, we're going to pump out a few songs this year, and um, probably some, some, uh, you know, some more light-hearted stuff as well, because um, I feel like there's been a lot of heavy stuff going on with COVID and uh, a lot of those other things, and I think um, it's a good time to sort of lighten it up a bit, you know. Well, I've got to be honest with you, uh, I... Had a good listen to lockdown, and it's becoming quite a favourite of mine. I think this is one of your better works. I really, really do. But speaking of that, I also absolutely love Lover. Now, that that's the one with your daughter Zoe, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Um, well, I have some good news with that song. It's actually going out on um, college radio uh, this month, so... Um, after all this time it's built up and um, they're starting to like that over there. So it um, be interesting to see what happens when it hits the, hits the radio waves in, in the States, you know, because it, it's sort of done fairly well on um, Spotify, that song. You know, it's one of my, one of my top songs for plays, you know. Nice. Well, I tell you what, it's gaining momentum here all the time, I've got to be honest with you. So without further okay. ado, live with Matt Penny right now. Here he is with Daughter Zoe and... Lover. Merv, are you signed to anybody? Uh, no, I've just been doing it um, indie, you know, like uh, just releasing the stuff myself and that. Uh, it's sort of, um, it's worked out okay for me, you know. I was actually, I did have a deal with um, Edge Warner label years ago, you know, um, 
before I had the motorbike accident, and then I had that motorbike accident that sort of uh, sort of ruined everything really for that. Right. Um, um, they well, didn't really pay me because it was going to take two years to recover, but um, that's just an unfortunate thing, you know. The reason why I ask is. Um, you know how we want to do these tours around New Zealand and stuff like that. Yep. We, we got yep. bands backing up to do it, um, but we've also got a label in the UK that's taking oh, a lot of our artists. But we are only putting forward what we think is quality artists. Just wondering if yep. you'd be interested in letting us introduce you to Dr. John Studio uh, Surgery. Yeah, no, absolutely. Always keen, you know. Um, uh, Always keen, and especially in Europe, because Europe is such a big place, you know. And, and you know, if you make it in Europe, you, you, you're almost home and hose, you know. Uh, exactly. Um, yeah. Let me cut in there, Mert. We're just running out of time, so we we'll go back yeah. to the desk. <laughs> Right, you're right, Eerie Galaxy, 107 FM, 24 away from 10 o'clock, 16 degrees, going down a little bit, kind of scared of that, because we wanted to get to 18 minimum today, Tuesday, June the 30th, joined live, and, well, yeah, you can hear that he's outside right now, getting a bit, getting a bit of wind in the uh, background, but hailing uh, from Kerry Kerry, literally New Zealand, folks, Kiwi artist, Mert Penny, and, of course, uh, was joined there by his daughter, Zoe Punny with Lover, love, 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 lover, I really do, I absolutely grow into that song, and a lot of our listeners uh, absolutely love it as well, we're getting quite a few requests for it, but, oh, fantastic, as I said, we're, we're moving on right now, and we're looking to the future, literally, and you were saying that you're going to have a few new tracks coming out in the future, very, very shortly, Merv, can, can I ask you, are you going to be coming back to us? Are we going to be doing more interviews? Yes, absolutely, yeah. You, <laughs> you must be sadistic. What's that? You must be sadistic to come and talk to me. <laughs> I welcome it, I really, really do, because we're a big fan of your work and uh, would love, love, love to be able to uh, premiere a lot of your stuff to our listeners, much like... Uh, well, we've just gone through a lockdown, so tell me all about lockdown. Well, lockdown for me was, uh, you know, like a like a bit of a break because I've been so busy doing shows and stuff. I I actually sort of took a breather and I didn't do anything for the first few days at all. And then I started getting into the, the recording and I actually, you know, did a did a live song to, to Facebook, you know, because everybody was doing it and I thought I better do one as well. Um, but it was it was it was fun, you know. And the only thing was, I found out how challenging it was doing it at home because my neighbour was running a generator for with four weeks. <laughs> so every time I wanted to do something, it was this generator whining away in the background. So, but it sort of added to the atmosphere. But I, I really enjoyed lockdown. It was it was a good time to sort of take stock of everything and you know and and write music and you know. Well, uh, i, I got to agree with you. I, too, did enjoy lockdown to a point. Now, uh, as I explained to you, of course, all the staff were away, so the only person looking after the station was myself, and I had my own issues with almost everything you could ever conceive in a radio station. But we got through it. Uh, whereas yeah. my staff, they had a good time as well. Uh, speaking for Barbara, she kind of misses it because uh, 
she would use her gold card to get to the uh, front of the line when it came to shopping and stuff like that. Oh, thanks. You know, I, well, <laughs> if you've got one, use it, right? Right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I think she uh, mm -hmm. smiled nicely at somebody and they gave her one. Oh. Yeah, she's not old enough to have one. No, I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> Believe me, she's not. But she does have one. Uh, I, 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 I maybe it's stolen. It's my mother's one. Yeah. Oh, it's her mother's one. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like your spunk, Barbara. I really, really do. Uh, now, Bob, I got to say, uh, big fan of Obi. Uh, pink elephants, little demons. I feel like a prisoner. Wipe out the whole enchilada of Merv Penny. I love all of your music. I really, really do. Oh, thank you. But Merv, I think lockdown is your best work yet. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. They love that song, yeah. So tell and me I about it. I think they like the, the recording's quite good. You know, it's good, good good recording and everything's come together. It took me quite a while and I, you know, I always do things to death and go back and work on them and craft things, you know, so. Uh, but I was really pleased with the way that came up. Yeah, it's come up really good. Well, I'm, I'm being straight up with you, my friend. I absolutely love, love, love lockdown. I really do. So tell me something about it. Okay, well, firstly, I've got to clarify with you because there's actually two. I did two, one after the other. So is it the I lockdown or is it the prisoner lockdown? It is, uh, well, what I've got here is 230 lockdown 2020. Yeah, that, yeah that's the one. Yeah, that's, that's called, uh, the name of that is I lockdown. 2020. So, um, yeah, I recorded that, um, you know, over the over the lockdown period, and then we then we mixed it up. We worked on it, you know, pretty pretty intensively, really. Yeah, and it's about the um, it's about sort of breaking out of lockdown, you know, because uh, you know we all went a little stir crazy, and it was like by the end of sort of three or four weeks, we just wanted to, you know, go out. And, do some party and do stuff and people wanted to get together, you know, like I, you know, we just felt like breaking out, you know, so that's what that song's about, it's like, um, and I did some, I, I, after I'd done the recording and had it ready for release, we realised that we, we couldn't do a video either, so, because we were in lockdown, so I got hold of the, um, the local theatre group in character and I said, hey, do you guys want to go and film some stuff, what you, the sort of things that you were doing in lockdown, and someone come back with that crazy onesie bear suit <laughs> thing for the video, which turned out to be really, really popular. It's unbelievable how, how many views they got in such a short amount of time. But, you know, it was just, that's what it was like, you know, and, and, and I loved that story that they did where, you know, they were sort of coming out of a cave like hibernation and then they were breaking out and dancing. It was quite funny, you know, it was quite good. It made me smile and I thought this is the sort of thing that we want because this is what the breaking out I did, I, uh, breaking out the lockdown was about for me, you know. It was about sort of breaking out and having fun and dancing and just being silly, you know. Cause, so it was a little bit of craziness from Kerry Kerry. Well, uh, I, I tell you what I took away from uh, the lockdown period. Of course, we had Anzac in the middle of that, didn't we? And, yes. you know, the Dawn Parade, uh, nobody could go to that. But, well, you know, in my neighbourhood, literally every driveway was full of somebody showing their support for lockdown and Anzac Day. Yeah. All yeah, the way down. As well, yeah. Absolutely yeah. stunning, you know, have people show that at least we forget. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I, I was very proud of us. As, as of a whole, uh, we 22 days we would got rid of it. Yeah, I oh, know. Look, that was such an impressive thing to do. And, you know, people were so friendly and, you know, you walk down the street, you know, people were going for lots of walks, but people were very, very friendly and everybody was very respectful, you know, it was, it was a... It was an interesting time where New Zealand was sort of banded together in an unusual way. Um, and it sort of brought communities, I think, in particular, a lot closer together. Well, you know, the one thing I found the funniest was actually a Member of Parliament that's in charge, would you believe, of facial recognition software. And he was having a big complaint because none of the software worked. 
forgetting that everybody's wearing masks. <laughs> well, that's a classic, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Have we paid the same? <laughs> one, I, uh, one of my uh, band uh, friends said, uh, rang me up and said, Nerve, you better get the you better get the Obi mask back out. You know, you better get the mask on and start performing with the mask on again. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So without further ado, we better play this. I'm being told in my ears and move on. Uh, so Merv Penny live here uh, at the at the moment he's uh, on the road with his latest track, Lockdown. Yeah, I love this move. This is great. Yeah, it's a great song, eh? It yeah. really is. It really is. And um, yeah, it sort uh, of reminds me of it reminds me of um, in the USA. You know, when they have the must of uh, the the mascots dancing. <laughs> of course, that lady in that bear suit that did that did that video was just like, yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, <clears throat> I'm serious about introducing you to John from. Um, because he, he also wants to break into the New Zealand market and now he does uh, and 15 years experience here he does concerts in the UK through uh, Devon and places like that so okay. he wants to bring his artists and believe me a lot of them are our artists from Canada, from America uh, over to do shows over there and then he wants to bring them here That's remember how I was saying I want you to come and yep. Do do work yeah. with us. That's where you come in. At the same yeah. time, I'd like to get Barbara to introduce you to him. Yeah, no, do that. That'd be great. And, and see what happens because uh, he's just broken his label into two. One's now country, and the other one's sort of a hard rock rock show kind of thing. You know what okay. I mean? And I think you would fit into that bracket easily. Okay, sounds fantastic. Nice, nice, and. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it. I really, really am. I'm looking forward to your next work. If this is anything to go by that you're moving up the scale, my God, this is great. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I'm really... Yeah, I've done another one we just mixed yesterday, so um, um, it's a continuation of that song and that story, actually. Awesome. Look, you've got me excited now. Ah, <laughs> I mean, I love well, pink. I love pink one elephant. The, one of the songs that's really proving really popular at the moment is that acoustic one I did. Okay. Yeah, that's going really well. Yeah. Um, nice. People, people are loving that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I tell you what. Let's uh, just got under a minute, so let's go back to the desk. And uh, Merv, thanks for taking time out to join us, bro. Oh, thank, thanks for having me. Look, it's a pleasure. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy, 107 FM, 24 away from 11 o'clock, 18 degrees. Barbara, you and I win this morning. Yay. Congratulations. Uh, we get it right for once. Tuesday, June the 30th, uh, with me never does. And, uh, well, that works, really. Lockdown. I lockdown. Absolutely works for me. Love, love, loving it. Now, Merv, you were saying that there's new stuff coming. Now you've got me really, really excited. Yeah, well, we've got uh, we've got a few to release, but the next one's a continuation of the story. So, um, watch this space. I won't tell you too much about it, although it's following the same sort of lines as this song. Um, similar vocal style, uh, similar guitar stuff, and 
uh, a bit more lighthearted and, uh, and, and not to, you know, uh, a bit more uh, fun, a bit more dancey. Yeah. I love that, and, and believe me, I really, really am excited now because, believe me, I'm loving I Lockdown, and, uh, well, you know, if it's going to get better than that, my goodness, that's incredible, it really, really is. <laughs> Running around the back streets of... Uh, <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> where are you right now? You're well Wellsford. Wellsford. Yeah, they've let them out of Kiri Kiri. Don't know how that happened, but they have. Uh, so, Merv Penny, i got to thank you so much for joining us this morning here at Galaxy and releasing I Lockdown. Oh, look, thanks so much for having me, Grant. I'd just like to say uh, hi and wish all the best to all your listeners and that. I know everybody's been through a bit of a tough time and, uh, you know, uh, some of us enjoyed lockdown, but it wasn't so easy for some of them. So um, all the best to them and uh, hope they have a great day. And I can't wait to... Uh, catch up with you again next time. Yeah, well said, my friend, well said. Uh, enjoy the Bay of Plenty, and uh, kia ora, welcome to uh, Whakatane and regional areas. Uh, unfortunately, we're not in Whakatane, just a little bit out from there, uh, but enjoy your time down here. I will, yeah, I've always loved Whakatane, you know, my, my parents are from down there, so uh, I have a bit, of a bit of a connection to Whakatane, so always enjoy it down there. Absolutely stunning, my friend. Take care of yourself. We'll catch up real soon. But in the meantime, right here at Galaxy, here's the Divinals. Mm -hmm. 